Hello guys and welcome back to another video and uh, in this one man, my friends we are going to be checking out basically the performance of Hogwarts Legacy on Radeon RX 6600 GPU but uh, the case is that this game stutters a lot and there has been kind of a you could say a mod for this game where you can go ahead in the files and uh, then edit some of the things yeah, and get better performance with the the same graphics basically okay. So what we're going to be doing is first of all we're going to be benchmarking the game without the mod, without applying any kind of uh, in a change in the graphics uh, settings inside the files. First we're going to be checking out the graphics settings what we're using uh, using right here. So it's basically the ultra preset with everything turned to the max without the ray tracing. And uh, let me also show you the graphics for the yeah I'm using TAA for low and uh, 1920 by 1080 with window full screen this game doesn't have a, a full screen exclusive full screen mode so we're going to be using the window full screen okay and the rest of the settings field of view is at 10 and everything these kind of settings are turned on because i don't like them okay so first of all let's just get right into the game and see how the game performs i'm going to be just using msi afterburner and i'm going to be seeing that how we turn how the point one percent lows and the one percent lows turn out to be okay without any kind of an added in the say in the files of the game yeah so we load up here this is the kind of an area where we get the least performance there's a lot of stuttering and everything the here. Are back. first brilliant. i'm going to be going ahead in the inside the spool and seeing that yeah, so the starting starts here. Yeah, you can see the game is stuttering a lot. So, help me. so we're just going to be roaming around the school, and I'm going to be starting the roam. Imagine uh, how inconvenient roaming travel from here, was before okay, I invented flu powder. So let me just start the benchmark. Okay. Okay. okay five. You see, so the game starts a lot without any kind of a change in the settings. The game started. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small Let's just turn uh, from right here. Project. Okay, now let, let's head out. Yeah, okay. So you see the frame frame drawing graph, it's like stuttering a lot. The game is stuttering a lot. The, these micro starters they just ruin the performance, I tell you. Now let's move away from this place. Enter here. Go to the central area. Just to check out the performance. Yes. So you see the game is stuttering just with the camera movements. And that is a big kind of an issue. Okay, let's move back here. Yeah, so the averages are averages are good. It's 54 FPS. But you see the 0.1% lows and the 1% lows. Those are the, those are the main issue with this game. They have to fix the performance of the game, but meanwhile, while we are playing the game and we are heading in our Hogwarts Legacy journey, we have to just check out if we can go ahead and fix the performance. What are you okay. up to now? So now I'm going to be ending this benchmark, and uh, yes, now let's head into the files of the game and see how we can actually edit the files to get uh, supposedly better performance. Okay, so let's see you right there. So I found this mod basically in Hogwarts Legacy Reddit and there is a, a user fried bong water basically what he has done he has added the file added the files of the game to add these things to them okay so what you need to do I'm going to show you and how you're going to be basically adding them to the files so you can get better performance with it okay so what you need to do is you have to go to your PC and then you have you have to head to C your uh, basically your Windows Drive and then you have to go to users and then you have to click on your name whatever your profile name is and you have to go to app data if you cannot find app data here then you have to select view and you have to show hidden items okay it might be different in uh, Windows 10 but in Windows 11 that's what I'm using right now the hidden items are found here okay you just have to enable hidden, hidden items from your side and afterwards you can go into app data and then local then what you're going to be doing is you have to find Hogwarts legacy here 
Hogwarts Legacy saved config Windows no editor and there's a file here called engine.ini okay you have to click on this file open it up and then you have to scroll down basically at the bottom of this and yeah you have to copy and paste all of this there okay now basically to edit all of these things these all things are basically uh, what I can gather from this is that these are for texture streaming these are the texture streaming settings of the game and what they do basically is let the game know that how much VRAM do you have and uh, how to utilize that VRAM actually okay so basically this is the setting major setting here which you can edit from your side if you have a GPU which has 8 gigabytes of VRAM you can use 307 too that's what this guy mentions here in his reddit post okay so for 6 gigabytes it, it is 2048 that you should be putting in if for 8 gigabytes you should be putting in 3072 and anything above that you should be using 4096 okay 4096 or 5120 okay whichever is whichever gives you the better, better performance okay so now after uh, getting all these files pasted here what you have to do is you have to select save here which will save this file and close it up okay now I'm going to be heading into the game and we'll see I'll see you right there okay all right guys so we are back into the game with the uh, actually the files edited okay so now I'm going to be going into the game and we're going to be starting again from the same point to move in the same way that we did before and we're going to see that if there is any kind of a performance improvement or stuttering improvement basically this mod basically doesn't uh, will not help you to get better performance magically okay it will only help you to get lesser stuttering okay and uh, basically to improve your frame time graph and to give you a smoother one okay so a smoother experience with your game so now again let's go let's head this way and start our kind of a benchmark from here okay I'm going to be starting the benchmark yes and we're going to be moving downstairs yeah I'm just adding circles here downstairs so as you can see right now the game is not stuttering that much it's a fairly better experience far better than before now let's head out here and this is the point where you get a lot of stuttering we got a lot of stuttering here before and now the frame time graph is you see it's yeah so now I got some stutters but it's basically it's a lot better than before they have to patch the game they have to fix the performance but it's still very very better than before now that, let's head to the central area yeah so the average is also magically improved because you're not getting that much of a low frame rate the lows are better so the average also becomes better all right so now 59 fps average that's far better than before i think 58 basically the lows are the issue the stuttering is the issue and that's what we have to we have to try to fix from our side okay so with this mod applied now i'm going to be also giving you guys some kind of uh, uh, graphic settings which you could call them optimized okay so these are settings which are right now i'm using ryzen 5 3600 processor and the radeon rx 6600 as you can see i'm 100 percent gpu usage and also my power uh, usage is also at max 100 watts okay so this is my the max power limit for this graphics card which is the gigabyte version so the card is uh, basically getting packed at 100 percent usage and my cpu also is at 50 percent using inside hogwarts okay so let's head into the settings right now and first let me just close the benchmark okay so now let's go to the settings and first of all let me uh, let me tell you that many of the settings in the game don't actually affect the performance okay except for a little few that is the full quality okay i would recommend you to put it at medium okay put the full quality at medium sky quality it's not basically required put it at low okay 
Now these are just GPU settings. So also texture quality, you don't want to change that. Population quality is also, it's a CPU. Uh, basically it's for CPUs, CPU usage. I'm also going to reduce that in order to reduce the CPU bottleneck because the game is right now using 50% of the CPU. And after changing these settings in the game, yeah, so uh, the GPU will be utilized more. Okay, as the CPU is not getting packed a lot. Okay. You can't so let's start again from our side. Travel was before I invented flu powder. Yes. So Might let's start moving here. Keep mm -hmm. on running on this area. Spare a moment. I could use your help. Let's move out here now. This is the area where you will get the least performance. And let's move on here. Yeah, so it's a lot better, you see? Let's move inside. So this is the basic way to play this game on RX 600 okay? If you guys need help with other GPUs, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'm gonna also try to uh, fly in my room. Let's go out, head out into the open world and see how the game performs here too. Yeah, so it's a lot smoother this way, okay? Just by editing the engine.ini files and also in the settings in the game, you can get a fairly smoother experience right now until they patch the game from their side, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can give me a like and a subscribe to the channel. We have more content coming for the games. This year is uh, this year has a uh, this year has a lot of games coming, okay? So I hope you subscribe to the channel and be sure to look out on the other videos, okay? And uh, happy gaming my friends, bye.